Rebirth Island dropped about a week ago, and it is time now, after some testing, to give you guys the best statistical primary loadouts. Let's get into it. And starting off with one of the best guns currently, and it's been very good for a while, but especially on Rebirth Island, considering it is a closer range map, a lot of your gunfights are going to happen within the 20 meters to around 45 meter mark, and this gun in that specific range is really, really good. It's kind of when it's the best, and it has really easy recoil to control. So the class that you're looking at right here, though, is if you are not using it in burst, I would recommend using this exact class in the reason why is if you're going to be holding down the trigger obviously there's going to be more recoil to deal with and the attachments like the compensator and the Bruin pivot vertical grip are going to help that a lot but if you are not going to be using it in automatic and you want to use it first which gives it even easier recoil to control and before I show you that class this is what it's going to look like when you're shooting when it's just automatic you can see that towards the end it has a little bit more jump it's definitely controllable and if you shoot it at a wall you're going to see exactly what the recoil looks like now this is something that is definitely manageable you can see that it has a lot of horizontal to the left and usually I would recommend using the Bruin heavy support grip which is what everyone's been using for the last couple months. But in this most recent update, they did a pretty heavy nerf to it where it doesn't do as much horizontal recoil. So if you compare the two, a lot of these loadouts that I'm about to show you are going to be a little bit more favored on the Bruin pivot vertical grip just because they do a little bit more now. So you have 10, 8, and plus 4 when you're using the Bruin heavy support grip. And when you are using the vertical, you get 16, 12 for the vertical, and only 4 for the minus on the horizontal, which could be made up by the Cassis break in stocks and so on and so forth. And also you have a better ADS with the Bruin and pivot over the Bruin Heavy. So that's just also something to keep in mind. So a lot of these classes I'm going to be recommending for Season 3 is taking off the heavy support grip on certain guns and putting on the vertical grip for this one. So this is the automatic version. And this right here is your burst version. It has not changed in a while. And the difference between this is you have the Spitfire suppressor and the high grain ammunition. And both the Spitfire and the high grains do give you more bullet velocity and they also give you damage range, which just really cannot hurt. So honestly, I would say this class is probably a little bit easier with recoil and just overall it's going to hit harder at longer range. Ranges, but again, some people just don't like using the burst version of it. So this is what I would recommend if you're putting it in burst. If you're not, use the other class and let's move on to the next loadout. And the next gun on the list is going to be a gun with very easy recoil control as well. And as you can see, the Bruin pivot vertical grip is something that I have on this one too. And just overall, the recoil control with the heavy support is definitely still pretty good. But the Bruin pivot vertical with this gun that doesn't have too much horizontal recoil, you can definitely get away with using this. And overall, I just think it makes it a little bit easier. And this gun does have a good iron sight as well. So if you want to see what this gun looks like really quick you can see that as i shoot it uh, definitely a manageable recoil it's not gonna have too much shake and if you want to take off this glasses optic and put on the stock which is just gonna make it even crazier when it comes to the recoil control you're gonna have a gun that's very very accurate for recoil it has a pretty good mobility and again it has the time to kill range that you need when it comes to rebirth island specifically on some of those closer range ar fights so good gun overall easy to control for recoil and definitely a lot of people's favorite gun outside of a few of them so Use this loadout. Let me know what you guys think, and let's move on to the next one. And that next one is going to be the Holger 556. Again, when you see all those stats that I had, obviously, up on this video already, you notice that this gun also has a very good time to kill range, especially, I think, within the 35-ish, 36-ish me uh, 36 meters, which is going to be a weapon on Rebirth Island that you're going to get into a lot of gunfights within that range that's just outside of the submachine gun range, but also still really good. And just for a disclaimer for this video, if you guys are watching and you are enjoying these loadouts, definitely make sure you guys drop a like, and I will be coming out with the secondaries and SMGs when the Renetti gets nerfed. Right now, the Renetti is insane, and hopefully by the time you're watching this video, it is already nerfed, or if it's not, and as soon as that gun gets nerfed, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of different secondaries that you can be using when it comes to movement and just rebirth metas and stuff, especially for rank play and all those things as well. But overall, this Holger class right here is really good. The only thing I could recommend is that you could change this Cassis break for the Zem Compensator if you really wanted to, but either way, this gun shoots really well. This Bruin Pivot is really good too. This gun doesn't have too much horizontal recoil. Uh, it shoots a little bit slower too, and it feels very, very accurate and just a very fun gun to use. Again, it's going to have the time to kill that you really need to kind of compete with a lot of the guns that you'll be shooting against. And just honestly, a really good gun. So those are the attachments one last time right here. Try this loadout out if you haven't for Rebirth and let me know what you guys think. And moving on to one of the most satisfying weapons, in my opinion, is the MTZ 556. This gun shoots so incredibly straight that even when you pick it off of a ground loot, it's still manageable even without the best attachments. So this gun's a very good weapon. It definitely has a good time to kill for most of the ranges that you kind of need it, especially on Rebirth Island. And just with these attachments equipped to it, you're going to see that when you shoot this gun it has a very very good recoil pattern so if i shoot it at the wall just to show you guys what it looks like and i don't control recoil at all right now it's gonna have a little bit of a like a little bit of a zigzag here to the, like the right and then left 
But overall, it's very easy to control. All you have to do is pull down slightly to the left and then straight down as it kind of goes up there. So it's going to look something like this. You're going to pull straight down to the left and then there you go. It's going to be very, very easy to control this recoil. And when you are beaming people with this weapon, it is one of the most satisfying weapons that you can possibly use when it comes to Call of Duty, in my opinion. So another really good gun. I definitely recommend using the, uh, the vertical grip on this one over the heavy support. If you definitely think that you can control the vertical recoil and you want to try the heavy support grip on it instead of the vertical, you definitely can do that. But again, here are the attachments for this weapon. Another great weapon that you can use for Rebirth Island and have some fun with it. Now let's move on to that next one. And here we have a weird weapon that you definitely probably didn't expect to see. Uh, the TAC V uh, has the time to kill range um, within some of these meta weapons. It's definitely a usable gun. It's not the top tier meta weapon, but it is something that you can kind of go back in time. And if you do enjoy the iron sights of the SCAR or the TAC, obviously you can have some fun with this gun. It definitely has the time to kill range. And with the new MW3 attachments on it and the vertical grip and the Zem Constance it is definitely a usable weapon when it comes to recoil as well. So you're going to see here, if I shoot this at the wall, hold up, we'll go to this wall right here, and I shoot it without controlling it, you're going to see that the initial jump is kind of a little bit jarring, but after that, you can see how tight the bullet patterns are really kind of going, and it's not that much horizontal left or right. It's just kind of straight up and just going that way. So all you have to do for this one is pull straight down, and it's going to be something that's very manageable. It definitely gets those kills that you need to, and just in general, you know, kind of a flashback to the uh, Warzone 2, and I know some of us might not want to go back in time to that game because we didn't really like it, but if you did, or you just think this gun was one of your best meta guns back in the day, Definitely give it a try and let me know what you guys think. I'm going to give this one more of a try myself. I've only tested it once or twice. So when the next time I stream or something, I'm probably going to be using this gun just to see how it goes, especially if there are some nerfs to that Renetti that we were just talking about. But with that being said, it is time to move on to the next weapon. And that next weapon is going to be the Ram. Now, this gun is something that I still see a lot of people use, and that's why I put it in this video. It did get nerfed pretty heavily again. It does not hold the damage range at all when it comes to like those farther range damage fights, if you can see on the stack. But in general, the Ram is still something that has very manageable recoil and still very usable when it comes to just obviously just having a gun that you're comfortable with. So if you somehow don't know this Ram class, here it is right here. I would recommend the Bruin Heavy Support Grip on this, but you can definitely change this one up and also use that vertical grip on it if you want to as well. But just in general, this is the Ram class that a lot of people like, and this is more of a comfortability thing. It kind of has the time to kills when you still need it, and there are still people that are using it within those medium range fights, especially for your resurgence and your rebirth. But overall, uh, a lot of people are kind of switching over to like the SOA subverter, which we're about to get to in a second and just some of the other guns I've already put. But I had to put this one in there for the comfortability of it. And I would love to know what you guys think about the Ram. If you guys are still using it, if you think it's obviously a weapon that you're just kind of still going to, or, you know, you've kind of moved on from it. I kind of gotten bored with the Ram in season 1.5. So now that we're out here all the way at season three, I'm definitely over the Ram by now and just trying to use different weapons and whatnot but still a usable gun if you don't know the class here it is one last time and let's go over to that next loadout and that next loadout is definitely going to be an underrated gun i feel like the bruin doesn't get enough love the one thing i don't like about the bruin is for some reason even with the stats saying that it is pretty strong and it does hold its range i always feel like when i shoot people with this gun it just feels weak i don't know if that's just you know me being in my own head or whatnot but this gun when it comes to recoil especially with these attachments on is absolutely insane so this is a user-friendly weapon especially if you're more on the beginner side and you want a gun that has 60 bullets in the magazine easier recoil and still does hit pretty hard this is a very fun gun to use and the 60 mag default on an lmg where it doesn't feel like an lmg because of the mobility and the bullet velocity on this gun is pretty good it's just an overall good choice for a lot of people that are obviously going to be beginners or just trying to play rebirth and have some fun with a gun that is something that uh, maybe you don't see a lot of so this is something i'd recommend trying out if you are just kind of getting tired with some of the other guns or you obviously want a gun that has good bullet velocity still hits hard enough when you use it and is going to have the ammunition without having to actually add a magazine attachment so you can kind of take off other stuff and if you really like the iron sights which personally i don't you could take off the optic and use whatever you want as well to kind of even get more bullet velocity with some high grain ammunition or some high velocity or a stock or a rear grip and so on and so forth so that's the brewing class that i would recommend trying out and for this next loadout we're going back to mw2 just like the tac v and the loadout that i was talking about is going to be the stb 556 you can see on the stats that this thing has a very good time to kill it holds its range the one downside is the 42 round mag but if you're playing 
playing some Rebra solos or duos and you're trying to just have some fun and use a gun that is going to be extremely rare on the map, but it is going to be incredible when it comes to just recoil control in general. This is the weapon you should be using. It is a very fun weapon. I've used this one a bunch in Resurgence, especially on Fortune's Keep. It is absolutely in the time to kill meta of all the guns I just showed you. It is not number one, but it is something that if you want to use a gun from either MW2 or that you probably already have leveled up, I would recommend this class right here. And with the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip, this control on this recoil is insane. So if you just kind of shoot that, it doesn't take too much to, you know, control the recoil. And it's very user friendly and it's still going to hit hard enough where you're going to be able to get your kills if you hit your shots. So overall, a very fun gun to use and still going to be more of that flashback to MW2 where I feel like this gun never got a lot of love in MW2 when the game was actually out. So overall, the STB, a very viable option and definitely usable within the meta of all these guns I'm showing you. But with that being said, we have to move on to some of the last loadouts I need to show you. And one of those is the absolute meta as of now, especially in ranked. You're going to see a lot of your sweaty players in ranked that are able to get one shot kills in ranked play on Rebirth Island with this exact build. You have the charge barrel, the HVP anti-material slug ammunition for more damage. Then you have the quick bolt the light stock, and I like the MCPR uh, 309.5X sniper scope. And this is a really good weapon to use when you're playing ranked. It is a very fun gun. When you have this gun fully charged up, it has a lot of damage. I'm almost pretty sure it does. Let me see really quick. Uh, it does about 257 upper torso of damage. So you don't even need to hit a headshot and you do an incredible amount of damage if you're team shotting and ranked it is really good and of course if you hit that headshot 435 is going to be enough to kill them when you're using these exact attachments you need to charge it up fully before you shoot so the way this works if i were to just tap my trigger it's going to shoot like that but if i hold it you can see that it does that charge up animation and then you let go of the trigger and that is when it gets to its full power so a big thing that you can do is before you even aim in you can actually charge by holding the right trigger like this and then you can aim in and then you can shoot. So if you're like lying down behind it, you can charge up and then get up and you can shoot your shot pretty quickly like that as well. So you don't always have to be aiming in, charging up and then shooting. It can kind of be a very slow process. You can actually be sliding around, charging up and then boom, just like that. So that's one tip to use it. And if you don't like the charge up barrel and you're playing regular rebirth, the only thing I would change is right there. Just use the tone heavy barrel and it's going to be no charge up, just like a regular sniper where you can kind of quick scope and have some fun. And again, I really like that MCPR sight as of lately. I'll probably end up changing that just because I'm going to get bored and try, you know, either go back to the default scope and use a rear grip or a laser. But overall, this is my Morris class that I've been using. I like it a lot. And now let's move on to the number one metal weapon right now for primaries in Rebirth Island. And as I mentioned in the video before, the SOA is basically the number one gun right now if you look at the stats when it comes to the ranges it holds the ranges it has probably the fastest time to kill at a lot of different ranges especially towards the you know those longer shots especially if you're shooting floaters out of the air a lot of ranked play sweats are using this exact build or this gun in general there are a bunch of different builds that people are using i've tried every single build under the sun when it comes to this gun specifically if you guys watch my streams the rank play streams that i'm doing with the iridescent and playing at the top 250 level i have tried every variation of uh you know attachments with this gun and this is what i've just fell on that i like the most and that i'm ready to recommend to you guys to give it a try a lot of people also take off the stock and use the jack glasses optic and they also use the brew and pivot vertical the reason why i am using the heavy support grip on this one specifically is because this recoil pattern has a very very uh weird horizontal sway in between as you're holding it and you want to be very accurate when it's coming to playing the best players in the world at top 250 so i just think it's easier for me to control the vertical than it is the horizontal with this specific weapon so i keep the heavy support grip on here and i use the stock just because this stock gives you 10 12 12 when it comes to recoil control too and i actually do enjoy these iron sights so this is my class for the soa a bunch of different ways to build it but overall this is the best one that i've found so far i've been enjoying it a lot and that's what I would recommend. So that is the best Rebirth Island loadout statistically and attachments on top of these weapons for you guys to try out. If this has helped you out at all, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you're coming back for more videos just like this. When that Renetti gets nerfed, I'm going to be diving into the SMGs that you should be using and uh, kind of just getting ahead of the meta to always help you guys get better at Call of Duty and just have a better experience. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, it's been your boy Crowder, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.